complex numbers. Let's add and simplify the following complex numbers. 8 plus 6i plus the complex number 9 minus 5i. Here's the analytic solution. A complex number is written to form a plus bi, where a and b are real numbers, and bi is an imaginary number. Other facts that follow complex numbers are i squared is equal to negative 1, and i is equal to the square root of a negative 1. So when we add the two complex numbers, we simply add the real numbers and combine the imaginary numbers for a result of 17 plus i. Complex mode settings for the calculator. First, we need to make sure that we're in the right mode settings to deal with complex numbers. So we will enter the mode and we will change our settings to complex or A plus B I mode. And here are the calculator steps to accomplish that. So first we'll go to mode. We want A plus B I, which is the complex form. So we would scroll down over to the right and enter to lock it in. Next, we're going to go to the home screen and enter our expression. So the home screen is the quit feature, which is a yellow a second function, so second and mode. So let's look at the calculator solution. So now we'll simply enter the expression exactly as we see it. A beginning parenthesis, 8 plus 6i. Notice that the I is above the decimal point and it's yellow, so it's second decimal point. I want to close off my beginning parenthesis, plus 9 minus 5I, for a result of 17 plus I. Next, we'll multiply. The square root of 5 plus i times the square root of 5 minus i, which is actually a sum and difference of squares. Here we'll use the FOIL method. When we multiply the first terms, the outermost terms, the innermost terms, and the last terms. Notice that the outermost and the innermost will cancel. And we're left with 5 minus i squared. But remember from our facts that follow complex numbers, i squared is equal to negative 1. And we make the substitution for a result of 6. Let's look at the calculator solution. Since we already have the right mode settings, we'll simply enter in the expression a beginning parenthesis and it's the square root but notice you're given a beginning parenthesis for your square root I'm gonna put in my radicand and I wanna close off my radical plus I the square root of 5 minus I just be sure to close off your parentheses and here again we get a result of 6. Let's divide 4 plus 9i divided by 9 minus i. Here's the analytic solution. We must multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the denominator and then simplify. So for our example the denominator is 9 minus i. The conjugate of 9 minus i is 9 plus i. So we multiply the numerator and the denominator by 9 plus i. So let's multiply the numerators. So here we're simply going to use the FOIL method. Our first terms, 36. Our outermost term is 4i innermost term is 81i and our last term is 9i squared 
So simplifying and using the fact that I squared is equal to negative 1, the numerator simplifies to 27 plus 85I. Let's look at the denominator. So here again, we're dealing with a sum and difference of squares. So we use a FOIL method, the first term, outermost, innermost, and the last term. The innermost and the outermost cancel, and if we apply our fact that I squared is equal to negative 1, the denominator simplifies to 82. So if we put the numerator and denominator together, we have 27 plus 85i over 82. Or if we separate it out and write it in complex form, 27 over 82 plus 85 over 82i. Let's look at the calculator solution. Since we're dealing with a fractional bar, we must enter the numerator and the denominator in case in a set of parentheses. So here we have 4 plus 9i divided by 9 minus i. We can change the fraction to a decimal by using the option that's located underneath math. The first option says we can take whatever we're given, convert it to a fraction. So we'll hit enter. And we'll hit enter again for our result. 27 over 82 plus 85 over 82i. Let's simplify the square root of negative 144. Here's the analytic solution. We will use the product rule for radicals and the facts that follow complex numbers. Here's the product rule for radicals. It states that the nth root of a times b is equal to the nth root of a times the nth root of b. So if we apply that to the square root of negative 144, that's a square root of negative 1 times the square root of 144 and using our facts from complex numbers our result is 12i. Let's take a look at the calculator solution. Since I'm already in the correct mode here I simply enter the square root of negative 144 I'm going to close off my parentheses for 12i. Let's divide the square root of negative 27 divided by the square root of 3. Here's the analytic solution. We're going to use the quotient rule and the product rule for radicals and then use the facts that follow complex numbers. So here is the quotient rule for complex numbers. The square, the nth root of a divided by b is equal to the nth root of a divided by the nth root of b. So for our example, the square root of negative 27 over the square root of 3, we're going to combine that. We're going to simplify for a square root of negative 9. Then we're going to apply our product rule for radicals and the facts that follow complex numbers for a result of 3i. Let's take a look at the calculator solutions. Since we already have the correct settings, I'm simply going to enter in our expression. The square root of negative 27, I'm going to be mindful to close off my parentheses, divided by the square root of 3. 4 result of 3i.